Hello guys, here's Maria Carmo on the channel Love Lace Academy. And today we're gonna to present the work of a member of the community that put together some information for us. Uh, would you like to present yourself, Anthony, please? Sure, hi, my name is Anthony and I, um, I put together a proposer guide for people who are interested in, um, in proposing to Cardano. In other words, um, um, putting together a project to, to hopefully get funded by the Cardano community. So I did this because it seemed like there was um, some questions about exactly how to go through the process. So I did this to help, hopefully help some people out. Um, I know you have been around for a while. You did videos from my videos and tutorials about how to vote in Catalyst. I actually came across your work on the Emurgo Learning uh, group because I'm also a Emurgo Learning. I was doing the course. Did you do any course in Emurg? Which way, which course you I've taken a lot of courses. Um, <laughs> course uh, and then Morg was a foundation of blockchain. Yes. I, oh yeah, yeah, I did. In fact, I'm still at Emergo. I'm on the, um, on the third set of courses right now. Yes. Wow. That's great. I just, I just don't have the time anymore anyway. So please take the stage. And if you have, if you have a presentation, anything you would like to share with us, please feel free. Great. Okay. So well, I'm just going to share the, um, the, the uh, booklet that I did, and I'll kind of talk about it a little bit, and then I'll go into Catalyst uh, for a couple minutes so I can kind of show everyone how to work their way around it. Let's, let me uh, share my screen here. Okay, so what I did was I created this guide for people, a guide for people that are coming over that want to be proposers. In other words, you know, you want to, um, you know, get money from the from the community, from the treasure chest, or I, I call it the treasure chest, but essentially you're proposing to the community and the community votes on who to give funding to. So I made this guide for proposers. So in the introduction here, I talk a little bit about the generally just about the process and how it works. So everyone, there's a bunch, there's a lot of different proposals. And when the community votes on proposals, they get listed like any other vote, you know, first place, second place, third place, fourth place every proposal has a certain amount of money they're asking for. So one really good thing is to remember when you're asking for money, um, to use that as kind of a strategy. Obviously you wanna ask for as much money as you need, but you don't wanna go over. And the reason for that is that let's say you came in second place or third place. If you asked for, let's say, I don't know, $100,000, but there's not $100,000 left in the fund, they're gonna skip over you. They're gonna to go to the next project who maybe is just asking for $25,000. So that's just something good to remember when you're putting your proposal together, but we'll talk a little bit more about that here. Um, and when you're putting a proposal together, I like to say you need three things. You need a great idea, you need great people, and you need to write a, a great proposal. And when I'm talking about a great idea, essentially what I mean is you have to have an idea that fits in with what the community and what Cardano is looking for during that funding period. Um, every funding period has different campaigns and every campaign has a different, um, a different goal. For instance, the last campaign, campaign, the last fund, Fund 3, had two campaigns. Um, they had a DAP creation campaign and a developer campaign. The DAP creation campaign, the goal was create a DAP that's gonna bring people into the Cardano community. The developer campaign was create something that's gonna bring developers into the community. You know, something like um, maybe a, um, I don't know, uh, a library for JavaScript or something, something that developers can use to build on Cardano. So, it, so every fund going forward is gonna have campaigns. So your idea has to fit in with the campaign. Uh, fund four has seven campaigns. I don't want to go through all of them because every every fund's gonna have a different campaign. But you can see that when you come uh, when you come over to Cardano, when you come to Idea Scale, list all the campaigns. We'll get into that um, that next. Okay, so the next thing you need is people. You need great people. Um, a lot of people ask, can you be a single proposer and uh, and get funded? The answer is yes, of course you can, but it's it's a lot harder. Um, if you're a single proposer, you have to bring everything to the table, right? You have to be the developer, you have to be the marketing, you have to, you have to bring everything together. So if you want to be a single person and try to do a proposal, you can. But what I say, the better thing to do is to come in 
and look for help, right? Come into the Cardano community, throw your idea out there and say, hey, look, I need a developer. Or if, if you're the developer, say, hey, look, I need someone that's good at marketing or I need someone that's going to be good at sales once the, this gets going. Or just, I just need people to help me because it's going to be a big project. So that's what I tell people that come in as a single proposer because I don't want people to get discouraged. There's many people who have a great idea, but they just don't have help. So if that's you, come to the community, talk to the community, get the help. You know, you'll get it. This is a great community. Um, the next thing you want to do, and this is so important. Oh boy, this is so important. I don't see this at all. I don't know why. You have to show your experience. If you put a proposal together and you say you've been a dev for 25 years, show it. Link to GitHub, a link to a project you did, something. Because so many people come in, they say they have all this experience, so they don't show it. And it's not that we don't believe you. But when you're asking for $50,000, $100,000, you know, it's kind of like a job interview. You want to show that you have the experience you say you have. And that brings me to the last thing. Treat it like a job interview when you come in. Treat your proposal like a job interview. And also pretend like who you're talking to has no idea what you're talking about. Because not everybody knows technology. Um, so you really have to come into these things and kind of spell out exactly what you want. The more information you give, usually the better. And the last thing I talk about in this guide is you need a great proposal. So in this section here, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how it works, how the six weeks works. So Cardano Fund, the Catalyst program is on a six week schedule, all right? So the first week you come in, it's something called insight sharing. Now, a lot of people get this kind of confused because this is the week where you come in and you essentially just think about and talk about the campaigns that are upcoming. So that first week, you don't actually write a proposal. Well, you can, you can write it like on, on the side on your own computer, but you don't actually post the proposal. You use the space to talk about the campaign, talk about what this proposal is about and what the campaign is about. That's what you use that first week for. The second week is called the proposal submission. So that's pretty self-explanatory. This is the week you write your proposal. Now you can write your proposal. I like to say there's two ways to write it. You can write your proposal over the course of a couple of weeks. So you keep adding things to it, or you can get your proposal completely done and then submit it. My advice, you can do it either way. My advice is to get it done and submit it all at once because you're gonna have a lot of communication with, with people back and forth, with the community back and forth. If you piecemeal the proposal over a couple of weeks, you're gonna get a lot of questions like you forgot this or where's this or where's this. And instead of having to keep, say, keep saying, well, look, it's coming, I'm gonna get it. That, you know, my advice is to, to, to take that, you know, to, to do your proposal and have it ready to go on week two when you can put the proposal in there. Week three is called proposal refinement. So during week two and week three, you're gonna be talking with the community back and forth. There's a comment section. This community is very, very, very engaged. So you're gonna be going back with comments back and forth. So you're gonna get as much crit <laughs> critique as you wanna get, or maybe you don't want the critique, you're gonna get it either way. So, the, so you take this time and use that time, talk to the community. If you don't know what they're saying, ask them questions. That's why we call it the refinement stage. Okay, week number four is quiet time. So essentially what this means, this means that they turn the comments off, right? So there's no comments for a complete week. You can get, get, get together with your team. You can huddle together, say, look, this is the comments we got. This is what other people, what do you think? Should we change the proposal? Should we tweak this? Should we tweak that? This is a week for you and your team to get together and make this proposal the best proposal you can make it. Week five, this is the community advisor review. So during week five, um, Cardano community advisors come together and they review all of the proposals, okay? They give it a five-star review or a star review, and they also comment about why they gave it how many stars they did. Now, this is good because you always know why you're getting the information you're getting or the stars you're getting. You're never going to get a star review with no information at all. Those are thrown out. The only reviews that are kept is that they give you a, a one through four stars, or one through five stars, and they tell you why. That's week five. Week six is split up into two sections. The first part of week six, as a proposer, 
you get to go back into uh, back into idea scale, back into the system and look at the reviews that you got from week five. If you find reviews or a review that you think is just totally off base, it's out in left field, or the information is actually in your proposal, but the, the advisor didn't see it, or maybe just someone just didn't read it and wrote a, just something that makes no sense, you're able to mark these reviews. Then in the second half of the week, what we call veteran community advisors, and they're just veterans that have been here a little longer than the rest of them, go back in, look at your critique and look at what the community advisor wrote. And if there's something wrong or if you're correct and the community advisor missed something, we're all humans, we miss things, then that review is completely wiped out and it doesn't count towards your score. Speaking of a score, the reason the community advisors do this in the first place is that this is where your score comes. When, it's, when the voting starts, you're gonna have a score one to five stars. This is where that score comes from, the community advisors. Okay, so after week six is done, this is when voting, um, this is when there's voting registration. So voting registration lasts about two weeks. And then after voting registration, there's a voting period, which is about two weeks. Now I'm gonna tell you, I think this section may change eventually. I think that um, it's gonna, become a little quicker eventually. Um, but right now, this is the way it's working. So from start to end, it's about two months, two and a half months. Um, but the first six weeks is really the uh, the most important period. OK, so to make sure this to keep this from going too long, we're going to look real quick at IdeaScale. When you log into IdeaScale for the first time and you uh, get your user ID, you're going to see this active campaign section. OK, you can see we're on. Fund four. So these are fund four active campaigns. Now, instead of going, actually, I will go into a fund four campaign. So let's go into developer ecosystem. Um, we've only been able to receive campaigns for two days now. That's why there's only seven in here. So when you click on developer ecosystem, it's going to take you to this page. You can read all about the campaign. And then when you're ready, you can click browse ideas. Once you get into the browse ideas, this is where kind of the magic starts here, right? So you're gonna, these are all campaigns that were submitted already. But if you wanna submit your campaign and when you're ready to submit your campaign, you go up here to submit proposal, you hit submit proposal. So this is where you put your campaign together. So you just fill, I'm not gonna go through every one of these fields, they're pretty self-explanatory, but you fill out all of these fields, fields. Then after you fill out the fields, um, you submit it. And like I said, if you want, you can, you can do this over the course of a week. You don't have to do it all at once, but this is this is where you do that. After you submit the campaign, you're gonna go back and your campaign is gonna be in here. And just give you a quick idea what a campaign looks like. Let's just click on one. So this is the campaign. This is the statement. This is the stuff that was filled out. Now, this is a really short campaign. Most campaigns are much bigger, but again, this is only the second day. So, and then these are where the comments are. And this will be full of comments um, in the two or three weeks that you have the campaign in here. Okay, all right, Maria, I think I've gone long enough. I don't wanna put anyone to sleep. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna click off now and hopefully, uh, hopefully that's a help to some people. Sure, it's a very good presentation. Thank you for being step-by-step step and explain for the people how any phase of the process um, lasts. You know, we have process for everything. You want to put the idea over there and get some feedback and then write the actual proposal. Some people write the first bit and then they never come yeah. back. And then when they yeah. realize it is closed and they cannot uh, make it a proposal. So please pay really attention about the dates and the phases of the project so you can submit uh, your proposal. Exactly. Also, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. No, go on. I was just going to say you reminded me something. I didn't mean to cut you off, but on when when on uh, week four, when the community advisors look at your proposals, you can't adjust them anymore. So during the quiet week, when you finish your proposal, you have to be done completely because once it gets to that, you can't adjust them anymore. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead, Maria. No, that's it. I think it was a very cool job. I like to partner with people like you. That's took the time to do something very useful to the community, just bring on to the show and show the community a, a easier way to uh, read and learn about the catalyst process of put the proposal out there. And I also, I will put the link of your work in the description. Uh, sure. Also, would you like to say any considerations, any people in the community that you'd like to say hi and thank you. This mm -hmm. community is so helpful. We always have people where we want to say thank you because they show up from everywhere to help us around. 
There is. There's so many people out there. Um, I, I, you know, if I started naming names, I'd probably forget some. So, but I do want to just say thank you to Dor. He said he does such a tough, uh, not tough, hard job with this proposal. And I've got to say, I just got to put this out here. When you're on one side and you see what's going on, you want it to go faster. But when you're on the other side, you see why it doesn't go so fast. And we have 15, we're going to build up to $15 million per every six weeks. The only reason we're not there yet because the money's in the treasury is because we have to build this out slowly to make sure it works right. So just a big thank you to Dor. He does a real hard job. So. Yes, thank you for everyone that is involved in Catalyst, voting, proposing, reading, helping. Yeah. Uh, if you want, if you're out there and you want to come to Catalyst and you know Catalyst from myself, just tell in your referral, oh, I know it's from Maria, or I know it's from Anthony, because now we have um, rewards if you refer people to Catalyst. Thank you very much, everyone, and see you soon. Bye, everybody.